Hello everyone, welcome to Chaudhary Data World channel. Today I am here with a new video and the last video in Pandas tutorial series into which I am covering up few topics like exporting and then whatever advanced concept of exporting in Pandas will be watching into this particular video. So let's get started with the video. Before moving ahead with this particular topic, let me take you through the whole learning roadmap we have covered up in this whole series. So this is the learning roadmap we have covered up. We are at the last of this that is exporting the data. Now in this exporting data, we are having basic export option. So basic export option like exporting to CSV, exporting to Excel. So what all these things we are exporting, we can export data frame, right? So data frame, whatever the resulting data frame after whatever we have done, suppose we have done cleaning, then transformation, then each of the activity when we are done with it. Now we, the, the time comes when we want to export that particular result data frame, right? Now when you are exporting it, you can export it, in, it into multiple formats in multiple ways, right? So we are having multiple formats like CSV, Excel, JSON, HTML. So, uh, so these are some common formats in which we generally export our data. Apart from exporting the data, we are having advanced concept in export like exporting multiple files, exporting to multiple files. So if you are having one data frame and you want to export it into multiple files based on some particular condition, then you can go ahead with this particular option uh, which I will be showing you on the demonstration how we can do it. We can even compress our data when while exporting so that the size on the disk should reduce and it should be very easy to share the data between two parties. And after that, at last we are having metadata export. So for a data frame, we are having multiple metadata like data types, what all missing values are there. So there are multiple uh, data uh, metadata information it is having which we have already covered up that how to take out that metadata into the our uh, uh, few uh, first few classes of in our whole series. So there those metadata also we can export into JSON or CSV. So we will be watching how we can export that metadata. So let's move ahead with this first basic options that what all ways or what all data uh, file type we can export with. So we will be just jumping to this into which we are having this export to CSV right from here. Okay. So this export to CSV, what it will do, it will export our this data frame okay this data frame to the csv with data.csv as soon as you execute it you can see here we are at this particular pay, uh, uh, location in this location there is nothing like data.csv with which we are exporting it the name we are providing over here that what will be your file name when you will when the data will be exported so df then the method dot to csv and the parameters are, we are passing as data dot csv and either we can put index as false or index as true. Now what this index will do? It will include when it will be exporting it will include index or it will exclude index. So that's the only option we, we are providing over here. So as soon as we run it you will see that data dot csv will be generated over here in few seconds. So you can see right. So data.csv is generated over here. So if you will go at this location, you can see that it's a CSV file, correct? You can see that it's a CSV file. Once you open it, you will get to see what all data over there. So these are the uh, these were the data frame, correct? These data frame only we uh, how, um, means export it. So right now we are just exporting our uh, data frame which we are creating over here but instead of this df you can put the resulting df whatever the after whole operation you will get some result data frame correct so that result data frame you can put it over here the result data frame dot to csv and then export that's it and when we are moving ahead with the excel export to excel just the difference is dot to excel that's it and then provide the excel file name the, the data the data frame will be exported to excel format similarly in json we need to export it with the method dot to json 
and then json file name what we want to put the json file name the, uh, that name is data.json we are suppose we are keeping and only one more option which we are not aware till now is orient is equals to columns or orient is equals to records anything you can uh, so there are multiple things like a split record index column so these things we can provide over here into this parameter now what this orient parameter is even so it control how the json representation of your data is structured so what it is trying to tell you let me first export it into the orient equals to records then i will export it to it into uh, orient equals to split and then you can and see that how the data orientation is getting changed okay so now the question also comes that why even we are changing the data orientation so it depends on your business scenario it depends on uh, where you share this data so that particular thing is a different set of question that uh, um, um, that we, uh, why we are using this record so then why we are using a split it's just that we are changing the orientation of our data so let me just export it in the orient equals to record once it is exported let me take you back to this here you can see correct so what you can see over here that name is name is name is so there are three of uh, you may say uh, uh, three data over the here so in three data you can see that uh, it is having um, uh, three objects are there into which we are having name and then is as the key again name and then is as the key and again name and is now once we are done with it first let me delete it okay now again what we will do we will change the orientation to suppose split now take a look how it is orientation is getting changed so it is generated and it's once generated you can see here that it is first giving you what all column names are there into the data frame correct then it is giving you the index then the data so this is how the data orientation becomes uh, different in each of the options so hope you got my point what i'm trying to tell you so other options we are having is of index then column you can play around with it you can you will get to know that what all orientation we can change with when we are exporting to json now we are having another option to export to X html only thing dot to html we will provide over here then the html file name and index whatever you want if you want to put you want just put index equals to true otherwise false so the you will execute it you will get to uh, that particular file into the dot html format now here we are having the advanced concept of export data into multiple file based on some condition so what we uh, uh, twist over here is suppose here you are having data frame correct in this data frame you are having two categories uh, three categories it seems to be a b and then c correct so if what if we, if somebody telling you that what you need to do is you need to bifurcate your result bifurcate your result on the basis of the category and when it is bifurcated you need to export the that bifurcated result or you uh, they just need the bifurcated uh, file you may say so suppose there is one file which will be of the category a second file will be the of the category b and third file will be the uh, of the category c how it is benefiting definitely it will be benefiting it will uh, um, it, it may depend upon your business scenario it may depend upon your requirement so definitely if you will go ahead with this particular scenario you need to put grouped into which what you are doing you are grouping on the basis of category first and then this chunk of code is responsible to export that into each of the group so what we are doing over here we are taking the group name then group data in this group which is grouped and then we are formatting it first and then exporting it to dot uh, uh, to csv and then the file name we are providing file name we are constructing over here with this formatting option in which we are putting the group name in between so let me first execute so that you will better know that how it is getting done even so now you can see that data underscore a data underscore b data underscore c is generated if you will open it you will uh, see that category a is only over here with values against it 
similarly for b and c would be there now let me first delete it and then tell you that what all things are going over here so here you can see first we have created our data frame then we have created our uh, group uh, on that particular data frame which over here now inside that group we are iterating with group name and then the data the group name and data so group name is just for the uh, generation of file name and group data the data which will be deciding into that particular file which will be coming from this particular data frame that is grouped that's it and you need to provide dot to csv method inside that dot to csv you can provide file name and then in x equals to false or true whatever you want so this is how you can export data into multiple file based on some condition so the condition can vary right now we are uh, um, uh, having condition that we need to uh, group it on the basis of uh, category if you want to have group on the basis of value the value which is having um, you know, which is even and the value which is odd basis of that condition also you can uh, generate that file different files so there can be multiple conditions based on which you can generate the multiple file option now you are having comparison of data export this is also a very good option into which you can see if suppose this particular file correct li's bob chardy and then 25 30 20 22 so here we are also doing the same correct when we are exporting this that data dot to csv let's uh, see it that how many uh, 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 what is the file size of it you can see that the file size is around 40 byte correct now what we are going to do is we are just going to compress this data export okay and then data dot csv dot uh, gz extension is getting uh, um, um, created now this particular file which is created is the compressed file so when there will be a lot and lots of data definitely what will happen it will uh, data dot csv will keep on increasing its size but this dot data dot csv dot gz it it will compress the file at, at the least possible uh, file size it possible correct so it is the benefit for compressing of the data export so what we are doing over here we are just doing dot to csv okay and the extension we are providing data dot csv dot gz which is the just extension uh, and this extension can be opened with Win, uh, uh, WinZip library or some other libraries. So uh, libraries or you may say software even. So that software if you install on your system you can open this compressed file. And this is basically used for suppose if you want to uh, email this particular file to somebody. So it, if it will be compressed it will take less size. It will take less size onto your disk as well onto your cloud, cloud storage as well. To store it and just uh, pass that uh, file to somebody whoever need it and here the, uh, the another parameter you need to provide is compression is equals to ggip that only thing you will be providing and the compressed file will be generated last thing we are having exporting the metadata so suppose this particular data frame you are having into this data frame what uh, uh, metadata it can be it can contain multiple metadata like the column name what all column name it is there into this particular uh, data frame then data types definitely then unique values then missing values so there can be multiple uh, um, uh, metadata which we can provide it into this metadata dictionary and now dear suppose if you want to uh, uh, export column named metadata what we will be doing df dot columns will give you the column names and then you need to apply dot to list what it will do it will convert all the column name into the list it will put all column name into a list and once you are exporting it with this particular option with open and then the file name whatever you want with write format as f and then you will dump that whole metadata into this particular file that is dataset metadata.json so once you are doing it, it will be exporting your whole metadata. You can see over here, this has been exported. Now if you will open it, you will get all the metadata information whatever over there. 
so here column names you can see name is gender city data types it is giving you for name object is int gender object city object similarly for unique values similarly for missing values correct so this is how all the things are exported and all you may say whatever required resulting columns are uh, data frames are there is exported into pandas hope you found this video very helpful and definitely it will be helping you a lot when you will be uh, into your practical scenarios you will be dealing up with the day-to-day -day activities so thank you so much guys for watching out the whole video and if you found this video helpful kindly like to the video subscribe to the channel and see you in the next video series with some other topic with new topics stay tuned to the channel till then thanks again